What's up, fellow adventurers? Spice04 here, and come back into another figure view. And, uh, Monster Arts Godzilla, turn around. Uh, what, what are you doing? No, no, bad Godzilla, bad, no. What's up, Adventure Spires04 here. Come back to another figure review. Today's review is on the SH Monster Arts Godzilla 1995 Rebirth version or Adult Godzilla Jr. And uh, the intro, yeah, I, I don't know. What did? Okay, starting off with history. This figure, this Godzilla incarnation appeared in Godzilla vs. Destroy in 1995, where the remaining energy from uh, burning Godzilla transfer into Junior so he can inherit the throne as King of the Monsters. Now for the accessories. First off, he has his atomic breath effect, which personally, uh, I find them okay. I mean, I'm just... Next up is the other pair of hands he comes with. Now, right now he has his original hands, and, and I'm probably not going to take them out. I don't want to risk, uh, well, hurting the figure. But, I mean, these hands, they're really detailed. Blech. Yeah. So, let's crack it down. Or, what? Let, well, let's get down to it. Detail! Detail on here is really nice. This is a great figure. I say this is a definitive Heisei Godzilla in the line. And it's probably become my favorite Heisei Godzilla figure. Articulation. And also, one thing I've noticed, everything that I found uh, to be disappointing, well, everything I didn't like on the NECA Godzilla is perfected with this monster art. So, head moves, neck moves, uh, jaw moves, waist, arms, elbow. And tail is really articulated. Now, what I meant by uh, some things that I didn't like about the 94 figure uh, from NECA being perfected. Uh, by this Godzilla, this is what I mean. Of course, they're both great figures, in my opinion. It's just, the NECA Godzilla has some issues. Like, for example, and I didn't include the tone. In fact, I like the fact that his toenails are blue, but, I mean, it's different. This one is bulky. This one's kind of skinny. Long, thick tail. Short tail. And skinny. Thunder thighs, that makes it look bulky. Also, and uh, skinny legs. So, yeah. Now that we got that out of the way, let's do some size comparisons. Here he is compared to my other Monster Arts figure, Space Godzilla. Now, these two, I say size up. Yeah, they size up. Next up is the vinyl version of the Heisei Godzilla. They're about the same size. Uh, next up is Gunner. And now, for one more, a comparison to the vinyl version of the original Godzilla. Okay. Now, final thoughts on this figure. Sorry for being quiet. This figure is a great figure. I highly recommend it. This figure it is great. To me, it's the definitive figure of the Monster Arts lot. Well, Definitive Heisei Godzilla of the Monster Arts line. And 
this figure is just amazing. It's probably my new favorite Heisei Godzilla. I know I'm a vinyl guy, but I mean, this figure is just amazing. I still love my vinyls, though. Vinyls for life. That's all, folks. This figure is a 10 out of 10. It's great. If you have money, go get it now. And that's the bottom line, because... Well, uh, SH Monster it says so? I don't know. I don't know. This figure gets a 10 out of 10. That's all, folks. Remember to subscribe, and I will see you next time. What do you think of the pose I put in?